This Alex Hermosi reel has changed the trajectory of my business. I can feel it, and I'm gonna talk about it on this episode. You know when someone is selling from stage, and at the end, the audience gets up and rushes to the back of the room to buy? That's a table rush. My name is Misha Z, and the Table Rush Talk Show is all about bringing you the tools, strategies, and tactics that you can use to grow your audience and inspire them to buy. I was watching some reels. Could have been on the Instagram, could have been on the Facebook, but it, I was fed an Alex Hermosi reel. I love Alex Hermosi as far as entrepreneurship stuff goes, mindset stuff goes. I don't agree with it, everything. He's very much a grinder or gives that appearance anyway. And I've done my grinding. I'm 54 years old. Grinding, not for me. <laughs> Can I have a successful business without grinding? Well, I'm gaining ground every day. Anyway, that is not what this episode is about. This episode is about this reel that I watched from Alex Hermosi that uh, feels like it changed the trajectory of my business or it, it really just, uh, it just really drove a point home that I've probably heard again and again and again. Um, I've got a couple business coaches, you know, all these business coaches are like, what's your goal? What's your goal? Well, I'm like, <coughs> I've got no, you know what? My goal is to have fun and learn and grow and figure out, uh, you know, figure out my direction. And that doesn't have a ton to do with financial goals. Like I had actually had a little goal of like, well, I really just want to make my nut is really small right now. You know, your nut, that's kind of like saying how much are my bills every month? It's kind of small right now. So I don't need a ton of income to cover my monthly nut. You know, my kids are 20 and 22. So I don't have child support or alimony anymore. Both my kids are, you know, working hard and doing their thing. So it's not a ton of financial support I need to provide for them. Uh, yeah, it's just <laughs> the internet bills. It's funny if you look at what your biggest bills are. Housing, of course. But then after that, it's kind of crazy that like internet access is the biggest bill. One of them. And entertainment, right? This internet access slash entertainment slash business connectivity. <laughs> Anyhow, so, you know, I was like, after some investments that I have and such, it's like, I don't need, perhaps, to, to, to stay even, let's say I need three to 4,000 a month uh, income. Well, I'll tell you exactly what it is. Uh, 4,000 a month, and uh, I can, I'm eating just fine. I'm uh, <coughs> covering all my expenses. You know, I can pretty much do what I want. If I want to start traveling, stuff like that, more, you know, it's really realistically 5000 a month when you throw in, uh, you know, trips to uh, masterminds, things like that, networking events, things like that. We're not going to worry about business expenses and all that stuff. Let's just keep it super simple. But my focus has been, you know... I just want to make, you know, oh yeah, this is the coaching program, which is $2,500 a month. So it's really like, oh yeah, after expenses, excuse me, after my investments, all I need to make currently is $3,500 a month. So that's what it is. After my expenses to pay for coaching, all that stuff and traveling. Phew, I forgot. Thanks for hanging in there with me. Uh, after all of that, my I need to make $3,500 a month. My point is, if you've made it this far, is that I've been focusing on $3,500 a month. And that's kind of a fear thing. 
right? I need $3,500 a month to not lose ground. And so out of my fear, I'm focused on $3,500 a month. Okay? Alex Hermosi's Real basically said, if you're trying to make $100,000 a year, no, how did he say it? What you focus on is going to be the, you're going to learn the skill set and build the infrastructure to support that number. Okay? And so he said, hey, if you're focused on making 100000 a year, but you want to grow. So if you're focusing on, I just walked by a bunch of guys like me who were talking real loud and didn't care that I was talking on, recording an episode on my phone. Okay, so his real, he's like, if you're focusing on, if he's like, you want to build a business of 10 million, but you're focusing on making 100,000 a year, well, you're going to build what you need to build to support 100,000 a year. And he said, so if, you're, if your goal is to have a $1 million business or a $10 million business, you need to keep to keep the $10 million vision at the top of your head. So you're building the systems, the support, the infrastructure to reach that $10 million business. And it's a great reel. And one of the things I love about Alex Hermosi, which he's an inspiration for me for, is that he speaks in these great frameworks Sometimes there are overt frameworks. Overt, which is kind of like saying he's pointing out the steps. He's literally saying step one, step two, step three. Like a framework on how to, you want X, do A, B, C, you'll get X. Sometimes they're not so directly stated, but he's speaking in the framework. He's just not overtly or directly stating what those steps are. So you have to sort of pull out what the steps are yourself. But I believe one of the reasons that Alex Hermosi's gained this massive following is A, he's a great speaker. B, he's got tremendous charisma. C, he's super successful. So he's got proof. He's got validation of all this stuff that he talks about. And then D, he talks in frameworks. He's constantly putting out these little frameworks and he very eloquently says them in 60 seconds or less. He's got his hook, his story, his framework. Well, the story is the framework usually. Anyway, you get what I'm saying. Um, So yeah, I realized in that moment that, oh my gosh, like I saw instantly in a flash how a lot of what I'm doing the the support, the infrastructure that I'm building is to support $3,500 a month if I could just get $3,500 a month that would relieve my fears right, that I'm going to be falling behind financially at the same time I am working on the stuff to build a $10 million business, right? I am, let's say, but how am I going to say this? But let's say 25% of my energy is going to the $10 million business to building that. I don't, I don't have it yet. Although I do, it's out there. How's that? I do have it. It's just, it's just being built. (laughs) Oh my gosh. Joe Dispenza in there you know who Joe Spenza is to look him up he's all about it's already happened you just need to you, doesn't matter go look up Joe, Joe Dispenza um, so back to Alex and me so 75% of my time and energy has been focused on keep afloat in effect my fear has been driving me for that like I don't want to fall behind anymore 
And I just was like, oh my gosh. Shift all my energy to the $10 million business, to building that thing. That's what my heart wants. Literally, as I talk about it, I can actually feel the excitement as I talk about that. I don't know if you noticed the energy shift. But I'm like, yeah, that's what my heart wants. My heart wants to build that. And and I'll be helping so many people and getting my message out and all this stuff, right? All this collateral benefit that will will help the community, the world. I'll be inspiring people. I want to inspire people with what I do. And I want to inspire them to help them with their movements, right? So the stories that I help people get, the stories that I help people tell, the testimonials that I get for people, the customer testimonials, all those systems, all that infrastructure is just gonna help my people be that much better at building, growing, spreading their messages. It's very interesting too, another little tangential side note or a rabbit hole or another thought is I'm starting to get clear on who are the people that I want to help who are the people that I want to help spread their messages so it's an interesting thought anyway so I'm very clear now like focus on the 10 million dollar business and building that and you know what revenue will start coming in and I'll I'll you know, be covering my, my nut, that $3,500 a month. Nut. When? I don't know. Fits and starts. Sometimes I have great months. Sometimes I don't. A recap. Focus on... Thank you, Alex Formosi, for this. Focus on the big thing you want to build. Keep that top of mind versus the fear-driven thing. And I'm not sure what that is for you, which is limiting you and holding you back. So for me, in my heart, what's making me shine and giving me excitement is building this $10 million business. And I can grow from there perhaps, and 10 million's fine for now. <laughs> so any of you who are like, that goal's not big enough, whatever. Um, it's what my heart wants, what makes me shine focusing on the covering my nut every month yes that uh, that is going to limit what I build how I build it Uh, if you like this episode share it with somebody subscribe give me a comment give me a thumbs up you know give it a five star review anyway have a good day out there thank you thank you for listening to this episode of the table rush talk show For resources to help you sell your stuff, go to B-E-L-O-V-E dot media forward slash resources. That's B-Love dot media forward slash resources. And be sure to subscribe, comment, five star, and share. Thank you again for listening.